Fierce little Dolly Parton brings hell on racist woman who tried to destroy her Dixie Stampede. Country legend Dolly Parton is synonymous with the Tennessee, where she was born and raised and left her stamp on with multiple amusement parks and attractions. She doesn't call herself the daughter of the Old South without cause and for her small stature, packs a lot of grit behind that sweet facade. One particularly ruthless Black Lives Matter activist didn't like what this notable white woman had done in her neck of the woods and recently showed up to destroy all that Dolly has built. Perhaps she thought the singer would be an easy target found out how wrong she was when Dolly brought hell on this racist woman trying to shut down her Dixie Stampede. There's never been a question how much Dolly loves America which is part of the problem activist Tysha Harris has with her. Loving our country and having respect for the history of our nation is not in the racist playbook, especially lately. After several months of lying dormant, BLM terrorists re-emerged with a new resolve in the last couple of weeks. It didn't end well for Harris who picked Dolly Parton and her Civil War-themed inner theater to attack and brought a war on herself. Harris works for the staunch liberal site, Slate who perhaps purposely employs Black Lives Matter supporters as to push their leftist agenda in their pieces for the online magazine. Frustrated that there hasn't been as much racist unrest in the last couple of weeks as she'd like, Harris stirred the pot by calling for the closure of Dolly's supposedly violent dinner theater by pointing out what she hilariously thought was racist. Advertised as an extraordinary dinner show, pitting North against South in a friendly and fun rivalry. Dolly Parton's Dixie Stampede is the lost cause of the Confederacy meets Cirque du Soleil, Harris wrote in her hit piece on Pardon for Slate. It's a lily white kitsch extravaganza that play acts the Civil War but never once mentions slavery. The smoking gun of proof of Dolly's supposed racism that Harris thought she had on this light-hearted venue was that audience was divided into two sides, the North and the South. When Harris checked the venue out for herself, she found that there were people of both races sitting on each side of the dinner theater, and it wasn't racially divided as she wrongfully assumed. In fact, her whole point in exposing little Dolly Parton and her dinner theater as a hotbed of hate backfired when the only shred of racism she uncovered was wood finishes on the bathroom signs. With the Northerners sign painted black and the Southerners in yellow, this was all Harris could contrive in her own twisted mind as being bigoted. I did at least have time to run to the bathroom, a necessity after three and a half hours of sucking down lemonade by the bootful. This seemed like it could be a nice break, but when I got there, I stumbled upon this. Southerners only on a light-colored placard and Northerners only on a dark-colored placard, Harris noted. This was, at best, horrifyingly tone-deaf but I went in the Southerners only stall anyway because it was the only one open and my bladder felt ready to explode. However, just when Harris thought she had all the supposedly racist propaganda to take Dolly and her Dixie stampede down, she emerged from the restroom to catch the final act of the show. If she hoped that Dolly was going to come out and don a white sheet and pointed KKK cap, she got the complete opposite. The country singer secretly won the silent fight against her despite the subsequent slam piece on Slate that followed. Rather than looking like a racist, she proved to be just the opposite in the closing act when Dolly brought both sides together in a way that racist rioters can't, by saying they're all Americans. This simple, yet profound three-word sentiment followed by Dolly's song Color Me America, written after the terrorist attack on September 11, was beyond what Harris could handle. She wanted a racist brigade and got a history lesson with a healthy side of patriotism, which she concluded was all too American. If her point was to prove how un-American BLM and Antifa are as well as their intentions, then Harris did just that. She brought racism to light, all right, her own and the groups she represents who are rioting around the country right now. Their cause has never been about unity, in fact, they want just the opposite, the opposite.